Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, just a quick note that the update that we have today for bug fixes does not address the issue of the failed update from KB5034441. Uh, um, it's not in the fixes. Um, I think that will be addressed separately because if they would include it here, it would actually, if there's some failing or something wrong, it would block the rest of your updates. Uh, the fact that it's a separate update is a reason why it doesn't actually block anything. So um, if you are, and I still see a lot of people a little in panic mode saying, I think my PC is broken because of the update. It's not. That update fails for a lot of people. It is not a problem um, with your PC. It is, yes, because of, of the way that the partitions, the boot up and the recovery partitions are done, but it is not a problem of your PC. Technically, it's more that that update doesn't address the fact that uh, for some people that uh, update can't install. Microsoft says that they are working on a fix. They'll find something at some point. So I guess at some point there will be a fix. But if you can't install KB5034441, you still can't install it after today's bug fixes. It doesn't um, fix that uh, from what I can see in the uh, blog post. So even if you install it, you're probably going to have a failing uh, update with that update. And don't worry about it. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a security update for BitLocker users. Most people don't use BitLocker, so it's not a security problem at all. And, um, you know, it will eventually be fixed. If you want to have it out of your face, well, I did post a video where you can hide it uh, using the Show Hide uh, app for Windows that you can actually hide the update and it doesn't show up anymore when you do that. So don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. And um, no, today's uh, bug fixes do not fix that problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.